Hi everybody, Sean here, Photoshop Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. And today I'm going to answer a question that I got numerous times. Um, it's, give us an example of how you would use content-aware fill. I'll be more than happy to, I'll give you two examples, as there is many, many. Ever since content-aware fill has come out in Photoshop, in content-aware, I've been using it every day just I think back and I said this a couple weeks ago with the refine edge tool imagine you know the stone age how we used to do things well we used to do it but it, it's it, I find these new improvements to just be time savers sure you were able to do it before but not only are you able to do it more precise and better now but you're able to do it a lot faster and it's saving your workflow it's saving you a lot of time tedious time working on one thing on an image and I find content aware fill to be a perfect example let's say for instance in this case I want to get rid of these two pelicans I'd have to clone finesse clone fix clone heal spot patch all that and especially if you're a perfectionist you're gonna keep going back and tweaking now let me make myself clear about content aware fill it works most of the percentage of the time but even when it works at its best because you're gonna see depending on the results you're not gonna get the same results every time sometimes content aware fill is gonna be really off sometimes it's gonna be spot-on but most of the time it's gonna be really good but you're still gonna have to fix things even when it's completely spot-on you're gonna have to go and tweak things and I and I tell people this okay that's fine say you do content aware fill and you have to tweak an image that's gonna take you five minutes of fixing as opposed to over an hour so think of the the time that it's saving you the work that it's saving you everything's gonna always you know require more input from you more input from the user you're gonna need to work and fix things if you want them to look right but look how the jump it's taking you to do that so that's what I tell people when they ask me because a lot of people will say how accurate is content aware fill how accurate is content aware is it really magic as Adobe calls it well I have to be honest with you and I've, <laughs> I I'm required I'm definitely um, in the position to, to give my opinion I've used it enough it's been out a while now and I could say yes. I could say it's it's definitely maybe not a hundred percent. Like I said, you're gonna have to finesse things, but it's definitely a time saver, and it does work, and it is accurate, or most of the time. So, like I said, we're gonna try to get rid of these pelicans. So, I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm gonna get my lasso tool. and I don't even have to be on the pelicans I just have to be in the perimeter of the area so we're not looking for accurate selections here because I want Photoshop to do that I want to see put this to the test how well content aware fill is gonna do here and this is this is a pretty interesting background because we have the water sure but look at this dock and look at all the details in the dock and all the details in this bird including the feathers and all Okay, so we have that. So now we're going to delete. We're going to do fill, content aware. Let Photoshop do its thing. You have to remember, you know, this may take a few a, a few seconds or so. It's doing a lot of mathematical uh, adjustments here. It's, it's pretty intense. It's doing a lot of work. Look at that. I got to be honest with you. Like I said, not perfect, but look at the time that this is gonna save me so I mean you know if I was to continue working on this image I already would know what I would have to do you know I mean <laughs> the whole point of this video is you know of course you're gonna mess with that and you're gonna tweak things but the point of this video is, is to show you the time that you're going to be saving working on images. And you know, that's what I tell people. 
it's it's not going to be you know select the image content aware fill walk away from the image you're going to have to f to fix things i'm going to be here tweaking things and and zooming in and messing with this dock and whatnot and getting the patterns on the floor to look correct and you know tweaking tweaking the water here and getting rid of where it looks obvious sure but look at the time it saved okay well, let's go back to this other image here now this is a little bit more interesting because of the background okay we have the Atlantis here so we're gonna go get the selection the lasso tool and I'm gonna do the same thing again and we're not looking for perfection here because we know that content aware fill is going to do its thing and I also by selecting a little bit outside the area of what we want to clone we want Photoshop to, to know you know the boundaries we want to it'll make it easier for Photoshop to say okay I gotta work around this area using the, the environments surrounding the selection same thing we're gonna delete content aware fill Let's see what that gets us. Because just imagine how long this would take with that background. And it's doing its thing. And depending on, you know, your the speed of your computer and how much RAM you have, you know, that will depend. As you can see, Photoshop's cranking here. It's working hard. It's trying to say, okay, we gotta figure this out. It's always a surprise to see how close and how good it gets it because it's different every time you run it, you know, and depending on the image. But it's always decent. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> now, I mean, could you imagine? So, sure, we have things we need to fix here, like the shades in the water, and maybe we could clone this building out because it's already over here, and I could see her. But look at that. Look how it did the building. Look how it did the trees. Not bad not bad at all I mean if, you know and then again of course I'm working on this image so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna work on things you know I might say to myself mmm it's a little obvious that that building is there that's fine you know hey we got we got something to work off of now instead of starting from nothing starting from zero you know you know sure some things look obvious like this doesn't look natural what's wrong what's going on this funky stuff happening with the water that's all could be fixed I guarantee you though but when you do content aware fill as opposed to doing it without it watch how much time you save test yourself prove it to yourself and you'll say to yourself Oof, I'll be using content aware a lot more than I was so if you wanted to know how well it works, I think it works very well. Okay, this has been my tip for today. Glad I could ask and answer a lot of your questions. I will see you again soon in the next tutorial. Take care.